Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome to Resident Evil Village. So, continuing on from Resident Evil 7, over three years ago. Man, I wish I played through that before this, as uh, I can't really remember much. I do believe we get a recap in the bonuses at the start, which is good. But anyway, really hyped for this. Uh, I am giving away a copy of this on PC, so for those watching later on Zoom or Upload, just click the giveaway link in the description. And for those watching in stream, just click the link in chat. All right, so word of warning, guys, I have added some jump scare sound effects. So for those that donate in stream, we have an evil laugh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, and for subs, can also spend 300 Z coins for the thunder sound effect. All right, and to get you guys back, I might just activate them randomly to keep shit interesting as well. All right, but anyway, hope you enjoy the series, guys. I will be playing this right through to the end, so enough talking. Let's play Resident Evil Village. So, I believe the recap is in the bonuses. Uh, I don't know, I got like a multi-bundle thing or something like that, so I got loads of free crap, I think, in this game. But I think I might be playing this on hard mode as well, just to shake shit up a little bit, but... Uh, movies... Uh, remembering Resident Evil 7. All right, so if you haven't, well, you don't know anything about Resident Evil uh, or Seven Villages or whatever the hell, uh, this is going to give us a little bit of a recap. Let's have a look. Okay. Where to start? Is that, oh, it's mold, it's called, isn't it, in this one? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. Oh, she I wasn't hate. thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. Oh, the Baker family, how crazy the were they? who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. That was the old little girl was the old lady, right? Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. So there was two That's different endings, now. right? There was one with um, you could save like your wife or Zoe, was it? That's pretty cool. Really weird at the end of that. Um, anyway, that's enough, right? Let's start new game. Uh, what are we going for here? Uh, casual. We'll take it easy on you. Standard. Uh, my friend who's playing this is a little bit further ahead, obviously, but uh, he says playing standard is so easy. He has so much ammo and things like that. So, Village of Shadows, I think that's unlocked because of the, like, bundle thing that I got. But we'll hit you with all we've got. Right, I think hardcore, right? <laughs> Should we go hardcore? Make things interesting? Why not? Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. 
Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. This has that the nightmare before Christmas vibe, right? Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Yeah, Across very water's Tim Burton, I'm with you. She went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. No, oh, little strange for Resident Evil game, but I like the art style. Thief, but more ah, took, right. She snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Oh. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not. She's a bit creepy. Never mind. I'm sorry. Right? But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Oh. All right, got myself a little family now. Hey, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. On the floor? On the table? Uh, we've got like a crib. Are we going up to bed? So is this like a... This must be a memory, right? You've seen it's all like... Jittery or something like One Division shit? <laughs> Getting One Division vibes from this. We got a little bit of bread. Don't get nope. too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. All right. Yeah, it sounds like it's through like one of those old gramophones, right? The sounds and that. It's a bit strange. Uh, right, how do we go? It said for me to put it down. Oh, here we go. You took forever to pick these wipes. Okay. Oh, is this a bungalow or something we've gotten upstairs? Yeah, here we go. Put her in here. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Oh, it's not nighttime. I might change that F to E later. Yeah, I've got my mouse sensitivity all the way up, but it still feels weird. No. Oh. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Oh. You're gonna change the FOV as well. I feel like I'm well Almost there, in. honey. <laughs> oh. <gasps> We've been robbed. Oh no, this is it's okay. <laughs> it just looked really messy for a second. Oh, well, there we go. Put Rose to bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh, so he kind of got his happily ever after. No doubt 
Shit's gonna hit the fan soon. Uh, February 6th, 2021. Me and I had another fight. That's during COVID, isn't it? Yeah. So, no mention of that. <laughs> Has COVID reached there? Isn't evil? Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah, man. Harder for life. I guess well, we're still searching. Nothing I can probably t get from here is going like, to like take into the, the village or whatever. <laughs> oh, our wedding day. Yeah, look at it. It's all flickering. One Wonder Wonder Division shit, right? There's a cooking. Oh, baby scans. Oh, something. Is that? Oh, no. I thought it was like in an incubator then. I wish it could stay like this forever. Oh, can't zoom in. That's it. All right, if I can't change the mouse the settings even higher, I might, oh, I might have to change it on my PC. What's it, pills? Me's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. Yeah, is she fully healed though? I mean, I guess. I, wait, she chopped my arm off, right? She, my hand. Was it my left hand? She chains. She chainsawed my uh, my hand off. Then we took the serum and I grew it back. How did we recover from that, babe? <laughs> huh? How did we get over that? I know you're cooking dinner and shit. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. I feel like What's she's gonna stab oh, me. Off, well, oh, oh, I, knew, I think like she's gonna stab me with it. Boom. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! How many can she take? What the f- Mia, oh god. Separate, separate military training, right? Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Yeah, so I don't know. It's just like if I felt like like an implanted memory or something, right? It's all look at look at it. it's all wavy and shit. Go on, move. The sounds muffled. <gasps> Not my. Oh. Rose, what the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said, get your hands off her. Ethan, no. <laughs> Don't tell me we're gonna to have to kill Chris now, man. Is he he's been a goodie all the way through this, right? What was he? He works for um he used to work for Umbrella Corp, didn't he? He worked, is he like he worked for um Blue 
umbrella car or something. You're only wait for the good one now. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. That is right here, Jelly Bean. Yeah, so he's. We are watching. It's so weird from his point of view, though. Jesus. talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the uh, uh, Fuck. Uh, Wait, who's the... What the hell happened here? Uh, <laughs> oh, so we don't remember getting here. Uh, we just came on this. Driver died. Mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses <laughs> to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. All right. My daughter was in the other one. Crouch. Alright, sensitivity is sorted out. Kind of, that's okay. And now we have sound effects are on, guys. My god. Be gentle. It's useless. Yep, we know that. Uh, anything in here? No. Oh. Do you have a flashlight or anything? I can't change the FOV either. If someone knows how to do that, let me know. I feel well zoomed in. I don't like it. Yeah, is this a bad time to mention I don't like scary games? <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Come on, throw me a bone, game. Yeah, so, uh, although I don't like scary games, that might seem strange as uh, I'm known for the forest, right? But I think that the only thing I've got going for me is that I become desensitized to things pretty quickly. Oh, chain fence, crouch stand. Yeah, we knew that. So the reason why I can pl play the forest, at least our hands are okay, but it's not uh, chainsawed off. Yeah, I guess if I played this over and over for six years, this won't affect me either, but it's just jump scares I don't like. I'm generally okay with everything else. That's growling, that's an animal. Shift is not running. Oh! Fucking shh. Oh my god. 
oh, that was like a Windows update thing or something like that. <laughs> oh my god. I pressed shift twice or something and it... Whoa! Oh. Oh, what's going on with this? What is that? I can't see properly. Is that a crow? Is that a bird? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Right, there's witchcraft. <laughs> oh, why can't I run? I feel like I've got my audio really loud. I think that was the sticky keys. <laughs> Zoom in his sticky keys. <laughs> I still had changed it. Oh, oh it's got to, got to turn around. Why am I so zoomed in? I can't see more than like what, 15 feet in front of me. So, are we looking for a camera? Is this an Outlast shit? Look at, can you see the, like, I swear that's not screen tearing. Is it? It looks, it's still. Yeah, look at the, in the bottom left, look at the, the video, like, snow things, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the technical name for this. I'm ready, I'm ready. Bring it, bring it. Get me a flashlight, please. In fact, maybe it's better just keeping it dark and not knowing. Ignorance is bliss. Give me a weapon. Here we go. Oh, that was... That was... Amazing. Oh, man. I don't know what it is playing games lately with, like... Uh, my daughter's just turned three, and uh, all games I'm playing lately is about daughters being kidnapped and shit like that. It's like, <laughs> why, man? Are we off the way? There's got to be something. Oh, there's a little doggy. That can't be the end of that. There's got to be a, a weapon, right? Why am I here? Why am I here? Uh, oh, there we go. I was going to leave as well. Harder for life, guys. I'm searching every corn. I just gotta get used to this, then my nervous disposition shit will go pretty quickly, hopefully. What's that? Pick up that brush. A tin can. Satchel. Whatever it is, we can store some stuff in that. It's a backpack. Who's that? Creepy old lady on a sewing mill thing. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Oh, oh, it's big. Oh, ah. All right, we're fine. Garlic? Keep the vampires away. Uh, rot oh, rotate. Rotate. Uh, okay, that's one way to do it. That is well weird. What's going on here? All right, can you see that? <laughs> Ten thousand years later, we'll probably get there, but I think we can see what that is. That's got a whole lot of nope on it. There's no breeze, is there? Oh, and there's blood all over the place as well. Guys, is this too dark? Is it too loud? I feel like everything's working against me at the minute. Oh, oh that's fine. That's fine. All right. Take the brush. Get a knife or something. I don't know. Make it into a stake or whatever. What, what is that? Can't really see. Oh. Are you sure it's not too loud? <laughs> so something's upstairs, right?
I want to keep going this way. Can I keep going this way? Is that... Oh, it's not a knife. You want me to go back up, don't you? What's that? Okay, that's not creepy at all. The thunder sound effect is so immersive. Oh. Yo, I'm reacting to every single creak. I feel like it's so loud. Save me, Fox. Sound is good. Only really loud effects are louder than your voice. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. What did all this? Someone just came straight through and smashed right through that. That's, that's crazy. Oh. It's bright, but it's cold. Here we go. <sighs> this is nice. I'm not really a fan of that house. Oh, the environments look great. Make sure I'm not going past anything. I can't get any weapons or anything like that. Where the hell am I? Frickin' Transylvania, buddy. It's called a village or castle or some shit. <laughs> oh. So I had to check, it doesn't seem like there's any FOV sliders or anything like that. Yo, the fact that even my daughter could be in somewhere like this, that's so sad, right? <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> yeah. Someone's here? Is food cooking? Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah, uh, let's hope so, buddy. Oh, that's what we saw before. That's the right way around. We couldn't do that. Just lay there, put the blanket over you, and wait for it all to blow over. Is someone there? No. Hey, what? Is that stew? I'd have a bit of that. An easy to pick lock. Well, is it? Give me something to pick it with. Alright, maybe we're not searching hard enough. Oh, we need to go out, find the lock pick and come back. What are we dressed like? I can't see. Like it. I didn't see what that was. It looked like a body being dragged or something like that. So annoying that I have a weapon. My friend said he's swimming in ammo. He lied to me. Why the? <laughs> yeah, Zuma, put it on hard mode or hardcore or whatever, because I'm swimming in, a, in ammo, buddy. I wish I put it on harder. Prick. There. This needs to be some kind of other item. Pitchfork or some shit. Throw me a bone, man. Throw me a bone. 